right, white child's pose, knees white, toes together, middle of the mat, back of the mat. And just stretch forward. Take a couple of breaths, maybe three. Try and relax into it. Drop the forehead onto the mat. You can massage the back of your, sorry, the um, forehead on the mat if you want. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose a few times. I'm starting with spinal twists, stacking the one forearm in front of the other. No rush. Sinking the hips to the heels. Make sure you're comfortable on the hips and the knees. When you're ready, reach the arm, right arm up. Inhale. Feel that long spine. Exhale, restack the forearms. And then the left arm. Inhale. Exhale, restack. As you're reaching the arm up, feel that the thumb is pointing to the front of the mat. So you still have that external rotation in the shoulder joint. Exhale back. I'm going over to the left. Hold it longer if you need to. Try and do about two or three each way, taking your time. Working with your breath. It should be easing a bit. If you've got any stiffness in your back, slow it down. This is my last one. I'm reaching forward after the last one. Please take your time onto the fingertips, straight elbows, dropping chest through to start stretching the shoulders, rocking side to side. One arm it is dropping closer and then the other, sinking the hips to the heels. If you're ready, come on to all fours. Stacking shoulders and hips, start with the wrists, circling into those wrists, strengthening, stretching, preparing the joints. You can stay pointing the fingertips to the front, but I start turning them back backwards, first out to the side, and then little by little, turning the fingertips all the way towards the knees. You might not like that on the joints, so don't worry too much about that. If you've managed to get there, slide bend in the elbows as you're rocking forward and backward. I'm feeling the stretch in the forearms. But you might be still pointing the fingertips to the front. Turning the fingertips to the front of the mat again, reaching the hands forward, spreading fingertips. Let's go forward into Cobra. So I'm coming forward. I'm not bending the elbows just yet, dropping the hips, starting to roll the shoulders back, opening the collarbones. You might need to go a bit lower if, you, if you've got any pain in the lumbar spine. And just feel the stretch in your stomach muscles. Lengthen the neck. So lift the ears out of the shoulders. Come onto your front. Keep pressing the feet into the mat. Bring the arms out into cactus and let's activate the back muscles. I'm pressing the forearms into the mat just with the couple, first couple of back extensions. Inhale as you lift. Exhale, come down. Shoulder blades are traveling to the lumbar spine, pressing feet into the mat. Inhale, lift. After, exhale, come down. And I've got three more. I'm lifting the arms as well. Inhale, using the weight of the arms to make it harder. Exhale, come down, pressing pubic bone in as well. So the lumbar spine is long. Couple more. Think about lifting the wrists higher than the elbows. So you're still thinking about the external rotation in the shoulder joint. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come down. And I think we've got one more. I could be wrong, but I'll do one more just for luck. Inhale, lift. Exhale onto your front. Lift the, uh, bring the hands under your shoulders. Point the elbows back and tuck the tailbone under. Inhale, sit into child's pose and exhale, downward dog. And as usual, let's move. Pedaling. Think about the shoulders, spread the fingertips. Straight elbows, turning the um, biceps muscle, bicep muscles up to the sky. Turning tailbone up.
and then bend both knees equally, keep the heels off, push the hips one way, point the knees the other way. So I've got some side bends going on in my, my body. And then change sides. Bend the knees more, straighten the knees more, see what feels good. So I'm feeling the stretch down my obliques. And then come back to center once you've done a couple of them. Static downward dog, spreading fingertips. <sighs> Drop the knees onto the mat. Bring the hands under your shoulders. And roll the shoulders back. <sighs> Suck your belly button in. Keep tucking the toes under. Tuck the tailbone and hover the knees. <sighs> Make sure there is no back pain. I'm feeling it in my front of my thighs, stomach muscles, and I push the weight forward. Try and keep the shoulders above the wrists. Keep sucking belly button in. Now start swinging your knees side to side. Push them to the left. Bring them back to center, hover them close to the mat. Inhale, exhale, push them to the right. Inhale, back to center, push them to the left. Inhale, back to center, to the right. And let's do a couple more each way. Make sure you keep tucking the tailbone. Try and look at the fingertips so you're not hanging your head. And over to the right. Come back to center and hover. Drop the knees onto the mat. Sit back onto your heels for a sec. And then lift your shoulders. <sighs> let's draw the shoulders back. You can just sit here if you want, or I'm opening the shoulders, interlacing fingers. Pressing knuckles towards the mat, rolling shoulder blades together. <sighs> Straight elbows if you can. Maybe press the heels of your hands together. And then lift the hands off of your hips. Make sure your neck stays long. <sighs> long breaths. And then release the hands back onto all fours. I'm untucking the toes this time, but stack everything. And lift the left knee out to the side into fire hydrant. You probably can't see me very well, so I turn around. So lift it out to the side and hold. Just hold it there. You can flex the left foot if you want. Doesn't matter a great deal, but make sure your right arm is straight. Suck your belly button. And if you feel too much weight in your right hand, push a bit more weight back, and more weight back onto your left hand. Keep the left knee high. See if you can straighten the left knee. Push it out to the side, not behind you, to the side. Hmm. Now it's kicking in my left glute. And just hold. Just hold. Try not to push it behind you. Try and have it by your side. Now it's cramping in my left bum cheek. See if you can pump your left heel up to the sky for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and hold. Straighten your right arm. <sighs> Lift the left heel a bit higher. Nice. Bend the left knee and bring the left knee down. <sighs> sit back for a sec. You might want to sit your left bum cheek out to the left. <sighs> Should be a, a little bit of a stretch in the left glute. And then come back to all fours. Let's do the other side straight away. Stack your shoulders and hips, long neck. Let's lift the right knee out to the side and hold it, finding the neutral spine, lengthen both sides of your waist. <laughs> Spread the fingertips. Sometimes it's not fortunate to see the screen and all of you, but most of the time it's good. <laughs> Flex the right foot if you want and extend it out without resting it on anybody else. Thank you. Make sure the right foot is out to the side. Lift it a bit higher. Straighten the left arm. Now it's cramping. It's working. Ah, and let's pump it up to the sky. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold. Lift a little bit higher. Oh, it's really working in my left glute as well. Bend the right knee. Bring the knee down. Oh, and sit, sit your bum backward and sit your right bum cheek out to the right. And I think our bombs are ready. Find your downward to come back to center. Bit more movement, bit more pedaling if you want. And find your static stretch, long arms. 
keep that slight bend in the knees for now if you need to. And then walk to the front of the mat. Little steps, little steps, little steps. Find yourself in the front feet, hip distance. Give it one halfway lift, bend the knees, long spine. And then fold onto the thighs. Grab the elbows with the opposite hand, swing side to side. Lengthening the spine, your back. Make sure you have the slight bend in the knees. Put your hands on your shins, round your back, bend your knees and come up slowly. Roll the shoulders out on the top, just a couple of side bends before we start the flow. Reach up, grab your left wrist with your right hand, pull it high and across to your right. Come back to center, grab the right wrist with the left hand, pull it high and across to your left. Come back to center, release the arms by your side. Roll the shoulders back. Feet hip distance, make sure you're in the front of the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fingertips on the mat. So bend the knees a little bit more if you need to. If you can, frame the feet with your fingertips. Starting with the standing split, lifting the right heel behind you. But for now, keep the right heel in line with your um, hip. So don't lift too high. Just feel that you're using the right glute to lift. You're leveling the hips. You're bending the left knee as much as you need to. And then maybe drop the chest and the forehead towards the left shin. So you might not feel that much stretch on your left hamstring just yet, but that's okay. You're using your core muscles, your glute muscles. Again, think about framing the left foot with the fingertips. So when you start bending the left knee and step back into the right leg, you're in a runner's lunge. So take a long lunge back and find your runner's lunge. Bending left knee, right leg straight, straight to start with. Bit of movement forward and backward, you might already start feeling the front of your right hip, hip flexes. And then drop the right knee onto the mat. Lift up into crescent moon. Let's ease out of that left knee. Kali Mudra, two fingertips. Um, the first two fingertips are pointing up to the ceiling, interlacing the rest. Long line between your right knee and the fingertips. Tug the tailbone. Let's start bending back from the top of your spine. Strengthen the back of your shoulders and the top of your shoulders, top of your spine. Make sure there is no collapsing in the lumbar spine. Straighten up. Frame the front foot. Shoot the left heel up into a three-legged dog. Lift the right knee and push the left heel all the way back and above you, behind you, into a three-legged dog. Feel the leveled hips to start with. Straighten the arms. Keep the left leg straight. And just hold that. And then open the hips. Stack the left hip on top of the right. Lift the left heel higher and bend the left knee. Pull the heel into your bum. Even straighter arms. Look under your left armpit. Mm, feel that nice stretch in the hips. On your next inhale, straighten the left knee. As you exhale, bring the left knee to the right elbow. Give it a tap and hold. And hold, round the back. Straight arms. Squeeze that left elbow onto the right knee. Um, left knee onto the right elbow. I'll find it, I promise. With the first one, you can always drop the left knee under your left hip. Otherwise, full and triangle. Straightening the left knee, left foot drops out to the right side of the mat. Right heel flat, right arm up. And find your fallen triangle. So I'm on the left hand. The right foot is in the back. The left foot is in front of me. Right fingertips pointing up to the sky. Stay here if you want, or let's drop the hips three times. Inhale as you drop the left hip to the mat. Exhale, lift it back up. Lots of shoulder strength. Twice more. Inhale, drop. Exhale, lift. One more time. Inhale, drop. Exhale, lift and hold. Put the right hand onto the mat. Push the left heel all the way back up into a three-legged dog where you came from. And again, just take a little breath here if you want to bend the left knee and open the hip. And just hang out here. 
On your next inhale, straighten the left knee. Exhale, bring the left knee to the nose. Again, give it a tap. I'm already coming onto the left fingertips, but I'm keeping the left knee onto my nose. Lots of strength. I'm shaking in the stomach muscles. Step through between the thumbs. Runner's lunge. Back to your runner's lunge where you came from. Right leg straight. Into your crescent lunge. Bending the right leg slightly. Lift the arms up. Lift up into your crescent lunge. Release the shoulders away from the ears. Bend the left knee a bit more if you can. Tug the tailbone. Bring your arms into a cactus position. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep them in that position. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, twist to your left. So you're twisting that lunge. Look to the front, inhale, and twist to your left again for two more. Keep pointing the left knee to the front. Come back to center one more time. Inhale, exhale, twist. Come back to center. Reach the arms up, inhale, and straight into your warrior two. Pivot the right heel onto the mat and open up into your warrior two. Hmm. Take your time. Left knee above the left ankle, bending the left knee, keeping the shoulders above the hips, tucking tailbone. Right toes pointing out to the side, shoulders away from the ears. You know what to do. Mm. Hands to heart center. Turn the feet parallel and straighten the left knee. Reach both arms up, inhale. Five point is start, exhale forward fold, wide legged forward fold. So let's dive onto the mat and find a, a hand position. Start stretching the hamstrings here, nice and slow, no rush. Turning tailbone to the sky, bending your knee slightly, dropping your head, your chest, thinking about a flat back, see how far that flat back takes you. Hmm. Walk your hands over to your right foot, right foot. So we sit down into a side lunge onto your right foot. Turn the right toes out. Make sure the right elbow is on the inside of the right knee. Left leg straight and take your time to sit down into that inner thigh stretch. Make sure you're tracking the right knee, right toes, wherever they are pointing. It's always the same direction. Suck your belly button in. Feel a bit of strength in your, um, in your right leg. You can sit it all the way down if you want, but then think about the flat back. Think about tucking the tailbone. Make sure the left knee is still straight. Just for this first round, let's go back into wide-legged forward fold. Put the hands onto the mat. Push your bum up. Bring the feet parallel. Give it another fold. And then bend your knees, flatten your back. Come back into five-pointed star. Reach the arms up and turn into your warrior two onto the left foot again. Hmm. Back to where you came from. Shoulders are rolling back. Let's do a half moon pose. Left fingertips are going to the front of the mat. Let's find that balance. Lift the right heel. Let's turn the right fingertips up to the sky and turn your whole body out to the right side. The left toes are still pointing to the front of the mat. Bend your knees more if you need to on the left side, but flex your right foot pointed out to the side. Stack the right shoulder on top of the left. Stack the left hip, right hip, sorry, on the top of the left. Step back into worry two. Bend the left knee slowly. Take it slow. Also strength and balance. Right foot is landing back into warrior two where you came from for the third time on that side. And then reverse the warrior left fingertips to the sky. Hold that side bend for another breath. Keep bending the left knee. One more inhale, reach higher. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Shoot the left leg back and hold your high plank. Try and hover the left foot, but keep the shoulders above the wrist. Suck the belly button in, just hold. For three, for two, anytime you need to just pop down your left foot for one more. For my first chaturanga, I'm tucking the left toes under. Big inhale to prepare, Roll, long neck, push your weight to the front and exhale, knees down if you need to sink through and find yourself on your front, just lie down, just lie down. Untuck the toes, oh. 
push your fingertips to the back, turn the palms onto the front. We're going to do a locust in between the two sides. Roll the shoulder blades together, lift the arms, straight elbows. For now, keep the feet on the mat, clench your bum cheeks. Push the pubic bone onto the mat, lengthen your neck, but drawing the shoulder blades towards the back of your mat. Neck is long. Now clench your bum cheeks and see if you want to lift your leg. Z. Both of them, preferably. Keep clenching your bum. Hold, maybe lift a little bit higher. And then come down, stack your hands underneath your forehead, head down, feet down, push your hips side to side. And before we carry on, let's do a quad stretch. Reaching one arm back. I'm reaching the right arm back, but it doesn't matter which one. Pull the right heel onto your bum. Press the feet. Uh, sorry, press the heel. <laughs> press the knees together. Got it for the third time. Press the hips onto the mat. If you can grab both um, ankles at the same time, please do. We'll make sure the knees are touching. And there is no gap underneath your hip. If you draw the roll onto your side and do a quad stretch as you're lying on your side, that might be safer if you've got anything funny going on in the knee or the lower back. I'm changing sides. Anytime you want to ease out of it, if you've been doing too, feel free to do that. Just feel the stretch in the front of your thighs. Again, knees together, pressing the hips onto the mat. Lovely. And then release it off. We're going for a full press ups. If you want, you can leave it out. Just meet us in downward dog. Hands under the shoulders, rolling shoulder blades back. Tuck your pelvis, tuck the toes. You can always come onto the knees. Make sure your spine is strong. Inhale as you push up. Exhale, meet in downward dog. And find a stretch. Long arms. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. On your next inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, make your way to the front of the mat, feet hip distance. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Round your back, come up slowly. Take your time here. Standing upright, roll the shoulders back. And then let's start the other side. Turn the palms to the front. On your next inhale, reach up. Squeeze the bum if you want that slight back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fingertips on the mat, preferably you're framing the feet. Let's leave the left heel behind you. Start that standing split, but I'm keeping the left heel in line with the left hip. I'm not lifting any higher just yet. Bend the right knee and start dropping your chest and forehead towards the right shin. For now, just feel the strength in the left glute. Try and flex your left foot for now, point it to the mat. Step into a runner's lunge. Bend the right knee slowly. Land that left foot in the back slowly. Once you're there, you're still on the fingertips. Lengthen the back. Again, shift forward and backward to start the stretch in the left hip flexor. Make sure the right knee is above the right ankle. So it's a long step. Pop the left knee onto the mat. Lift up into crescent moon. I'm interlacing fingers except for the first two. Straightening between the left knee and the fingertips, easing out of the right knee. Tuck the tailbone, push the pubic bone to the front, shoulders away from the ears and start that back bend if you want without collapsing into your lumbar spine. So I'm feeling the back of my shoulders strengthening, which is very good when you're doing your wheel, your wild thing. You need those muscles there. Straighten up. Put the hands flat, framing the front foot. Lift the left heel and push that right heel all the way up to three-legged dog. Take a big inhale there. And by all means, you can bend that knee. Again, open the hip. Point the right knee up to the sky. Stack the right hip on top of the left. Straight arms looking under the right armpit if you want. So my arms are flat. Hmm. Let's do that fallen triangle. On your next inhale, straighten the right knee as you exhale. Bring the right knee to the left elbow and just hold it there just the once. But try and touch it and hold. Round your back. Suck the belly button in. I'm kind of shaking the shoulders and the stomach muscles. 
And let's do the full and triangle. Push that left foot out, so that touches your right foot out. Left heel flat, left arm up, and then lift up into that side plank, full and triangle, hips high. Stack the shoulders, try and stack the hips. And there is your three hip drops if you want. Inhale, drop the right hip to the mat. Exhale, push back up. Inhale, drop two more. Also strengthen the right arm. I'm feeling the inner thigh on the left side. One more time, inhale, drop. Exhale, lift back up and hold. Left hand down, push the right heel up, three-legged dog. Again, just hanging out here, bending the right knee, opening the hips further, straight arms looking under the right armpit. Straighten the right knee, inhale, level the hips. Exhale, round the back, bring the right knee to the nose again. Give it a tap, hold. Again, let the core muscles work. I'm shaking, it's taking my breath away. Come onto the right fingertips if you haven't done it yet and step through. And back to your runner's lunge. Left leg straight this time. Inhale, lift up into crescent lunge. Sink into that right knee. Bend the left knee slightly and tuck the pelvis to protect your lower back. Release the shoulders away from the ears and give me a cactus position with the elbows. You've got three twists to your right. Inhale in the middle. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to your right again. One more time. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Come back to center. Reach the arms up. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, left heel on the mat. Open the arms out into T and settle into it. Shoulders away from the ears. You know the drill. You're looking for the right knee pointing to the front and the right knee above the right ankle. If you feel that you're shifting the shoulders forward, bring them back up above your hips. Let's do a wide-legged forward fold. Extend the right leg. Reach both arms up into a five-pointed star. Inhale and exhale forward. Fingertips on the mat. Reach further behind you if you want. Try and stretch further again. It should be getting warmer in the thighs, hamstrings in the thighs. I like my feet parallel or pigeon toe tailbone up make sure there is no tension on the lumbar spine just stretching in the thighs hamstrings and let's sit onto the left heel side lunge walking hands over turning left toes out, left toes out left elbow in the inside of the left knee right knee straight taking your time to find that first stretch we're going to leave out a few steps next time you come around we're just preparing the hips. You can sit lower as long as you make sure you keep your right knee straight. Finding that long spine, if you can, the slight tuck in the pelvis. And maybe stay a slightly higher if you can't feel the strength in the left thigh. Going through wide-legged forward fold with that first round. Push the bum up, hands on the mat. Turn the feet parallel. Give it one more stretch. Folding onto the thighs, reach behind you if you want. Make sure you can feel the stretch in the hamstrings, in the thighs. And back into your five-pointed star. Flatten the back, bend the knees. Reach the arms up, inhale. Turn onto your right foot, warrior two, where you came from. Exhale. Let's balance. Half moon, right fingertips are traveling to the front of the mat. Float into your balance, right fingertips down. Flexing left foot out to the left as you lift it. Stack, stack left shoulder, hip shoulder, uh, hip, left hip. Sock belly button in. You don't have to lift that left leg high. Just make sure you can feel the left glutes working. And bend the right knee as much as you need to find that balance. Bend the right knee, step back into warrior two. Make it slow, lend that left foot, left toes pointing out. And again, settling into shoulders above the hips, stocking tailbone. <sighs> Reverse the warrior, right fingertips to the sky, big inhale. Hold it, keep reaching the left fingertips to the sky. Keep bending the right knee, pointing it to the front of the mat. Cartwheel down, push the right leg back. Try and hover the right foot and hold your high plank. Hmm. 
tuck your pelvis slightly. Make sure your shoulders are above the, your wrists. Spread the fingertips. Tuck the tailbone. I'm feeling my core muscles working. My shoulders are above the wrists. I'm in a high plank. I'm hovering the right foot. Tuck the right toes under. Take a big inhale. Push your weight forward and come onto your front. You can keep the knees off or drop them down. Sinking through Chaturanga, but stay on your front. Oh. Once you're there, locust, pointing the toes back, pointing the fingertips back, palm down. Start with the shoulder blades, give them a squeeze. Long neck, and then clench your bum cheeks. So you're lengthening the lumbar spine. Then lift the leg, hold. Just switching on the back muscles again, strengthening them. See if you want to turn it into a quad stretch straight away. Flexing the feet, bring the heels into your bum. Grabbing the ankles with the hands. And for now, I'm just relaxing into a quad stretch. Knees together, hips together. I mean, hips down and relax the head. Just pull the heels onto your bum. Focus on keeping the heels together. Again, one by one, just a quad stretch is good. You can change the legs if you've been doing one. Or stay with me for another three, two, and one. Release it off. Oh, just relax for a sec. Now you think about it, when you're doing a press up here, after a back extension, you need to switch on your stomach muscles again, just to be on the safe side. So bring those hands under your shoulders, elbows pointing back, tug the toes. You can always stay on the knees with the press up, tug the pelvis. So press the pubic bone towards the mat, suck your belly button in, long neck, and with your inhale, push up. Hopefully your core is tight. Exhale downward dog and hold. Hmm. If you're just stretching in your downward dog, maybe dropping the heels closer to the mat if you want. Hmm. Let's see if you want to practice your headstand. No, I'm lying, the handstands. You can leave it out and sit down into child's pose. I'm walking closer to the hands because that's what I need. But you practice the handstand you want. I'm thinking about jumping my bum above the hands. I'm taking off of one leg to start with, trying to stay in a split position. And make sure you have a few goes each way. So keep the, other, the leg that you jump off of. Try and keep it in front of you. So there is no danger of falling back. If you'd rather go to the wall and practice your handstands against the wall, that's fine. Have a little play around with it. I know you will prefer one leg, but try your best to have a practice on the other leg as well. Equal out the sides. Take another five seconds, 10 seconds. And once you've equaled out the sides, sit back into child's pose and just chill. Bring the arms by your side. Drop the forehead on the mat. Take a few deep breaths. Or have a sip of water with me. Sorry, I just need it. Let's reach the arms to the front, find your downward dog so we can start your flow again. Bum up high. Find a stretch, shoulders. On your next inhale, bend your knees, look to the front. If you're jumping, try and kick your heels to your bum as you jump forward and jump, uh, land gently. Feet hip distance. Inhale halfway and exhale forward. Round your back as you come up slowly. And roll your shoulders out. And let's start from the third side again. Feet hip distance. Arms to the front. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward, forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fingertips on the mat. Lift the right heel. 
standing split. You've got a couple of breaths, maybe three, to lift your right heel higher than before. Drop the shoulders, drop the chest. Turn your hip out if you need to. Maybe point the right toes up to the sky. Hold it for one more breath. Start leveling your right heel with the hip and step back into long runner's lunge. Right foot in the back, left foot in the front. Pop the right heel, knee onto the mat. Crescent moon. Reach the arms up, ease out of the left knee. Slide back bend if you want to. And hands flat on the mat. Left heel goes up, three-legged dog. Lift that right knee, shoot that right heel up. Big inhale straight away. Right, uh, left knee goes to the right bicep. Straighten the left knee, fallen triangle. Right heel flat, right arm up. Find that side plank. Drop the hip just the once. Inhale, drop the left hip. Exhale, lift it back up. Right hand flat, left heel up, three-legged dog. One more big inhale. Exhale, bring the left knee to the nose. Give it a tap and step through between the thumbs. Run his lunge. Long step if you can. Right knee straight. Reach the arms up, crescent lunge. Big inhale. Exhale, cactus arms. Tug the tailbone. Sink into that front knee. One more inhale. Exhale, twist to your left to twist across. Come back to center, reach the arms up, crescent lunge, inhale, exhale, right heel on the mat, warrior two. So the left knee is bent, right leg straight. I'm leaving out a few steps here and I'm sitting onto the right heel straight away into a side lunge. If you want to take your time, hands to heart, center straightening left knee, turning right toes out, sitting into the side lunge. I'm going to keep it um, power move. Instead of sitting low, I'm feeling the strength in both feet, chest up, slide tuck in the pelvis. I'm still tracking the right toes and the right knees. Going back into warrior two, power up from that right heel, bend the left knee, turn to the left foot again, look over the left fingertips, back into warrior two. Half moon, left fingertips to the mat, balance, lift the right heel, Turn the right toes out to the side. Open your shoulders. Option here, bend the right knee and grab your right ankle with the right hand if you want that extra stretch. Once you're there, gently push that right ankle into the right hand. So I'm feeling more stretch in the left hamstrings. Release back into your half moon, back into your balance. Again, I'm leaving out one step here. When I step back, it's going to be reversed warrior. Bend the left knee, land the right foot in the back and reach the left fingertips to the sky to reverse the warrior. Make sure you sink into that left knee. Caught with the hands down, push the left leg back and hover the left foot, high plank. Left foot is hovering, shoulders above the wrists. If you want to tuck the left toes under or inhale, push the weight forward. Exhale, sink onto your front and stay there. Locust, bow pose if you want. I'm starting with squeezing shoulder blades together, pointing the fingertips to the back. Squeezing bum cheeks, lifting the legs, finding the back muscles, back chain. Lengthen the lumbar spine. Hold it here. You can turn it into a quad stretch or flex the feet. Grab your ankles as you're bending the knees. Clench your bum cheeks and shoulder blades together one more time. Press into the hands to lift into the bow pose if you want. For three, long neck, two, and one. Release it off. And don't forget to activate the uh, stomach muscles before the press up. You can just go through child's pose. So tug the pelvis. <sighs> Inhale, push up. Exhale, downward dog. You can always leave out the push up and just go through child's pose. Take, it, uh, take one more breath here. On your next inhale, look to the front. Try and kick your heels to your bum as you exhale. Find yourself in the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. We're starting straight away on the other side. Fingertips on the mat. Left heel is lifting. Standing split. 
Use a couple of breaths to lift it high. Turn the hips out if you need to. Drop the head and shoulders. Feel the stretch in the right hamstrings. Squeeze your left bum cheek to lift that left leg high. Stepping back into runner's lunge. Bend the right knee. Level your left heel with your hip. Step back. Make sure it's a long step. Framing front foot. Right leg in the front, left leg in the back. Pop the left knee onto the mat. Reach up crescent moon. Easing out of the right knee. If you want that slight back bend, go for it. Make sure it's not the lumbar spine. Straighten up. Frame the front foot. Lift the back knee. Push the right heel up into a three-legged dog. Big inhale here. Exhale, touch the right knee to the left elbow and fallen triangle if you want to extend that right foot out, left arm up, left heel flat. If you want that one single hip drop, drop the right hip, inhale, exhale, lift back up, hold, back into three-legged dog, left hand flat, right heel up, inhale, exhale, right knee to the nose, give it a tap, come onto the right fingertips, step through, run his lunge, back knee straight this time. Inhale, lift up, to, if lift up into crescent lunge. Sink into that right knee. Exhale, cactus. Hold the arm here, tuck the pelvis. Twist to your right. Feel the back muscles working. Come back to center, reach the arms up. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, left heel on the mat, warrior two. And sinking deep into that lunge again. Leaving out a few steps. Sitting into a side lunge onto the left heel. Start straightening the right leg. Turn the left toes out and sit down. Make sure you find a power move. Strong back, slight tuck in the pelvis, but turning the left knee out. So you're feeling the glute muscles working. Power up, inhale, exhale, warrior two onto the right heel. Look over the right fingertips. Balance, half moon, right fingertips are going to the front of the mat. Lift the left foot. Take your time to stack the hips, shoulders. See if you want to reach back, bending the left knee, grabbing the left foot or ankle with your left hand, gentle push into that hand. So I've got more stretch in the right hamstrings now. And then release back into half moon. And again, I'm leaving out a warrior two and we st straight away we are reversing, bend the right knee slowly. Lend that left foot, right fingertips to the sky. Make sure it's a long step. Keep sinking into the right knee. Inhale and exhale, high plank, but I'm hovering the right foot as you push it back. And here is your choice to pop your right foot down. Inhale, shift your weight forward and exhale, sink onto your front. Locust. Quad stretch or bow pose, rolling shoulder blades together, fingertips pointing back, palms down, squeezing bum, lifting the legs. You know what to do. Strong, straight neck. Flex the feet, bend the knees if you want the quad stretch or press the hands into earth, ankles into the hands if you want the bow pose. Make sure it's the back muscles you're feeling. Three, two, and one. Bring it down slowly. Feet hip distance, hands under your shoulders, roll the shoulders down, tuck your pelvis. Inhale, push up. Exhale, down, mutok. Hold. See if you want handstand practice or relaxing child's pose. Couple of goes one leg, couple of goes other leg. Think about bum above fingertips. Take your time. Go against the wall if you wish. Even out the sides. And meet us in the Amu Dog. Hmm. Bit of shoulder stretch. Once you're in the Amu Dog. Bend your knees, look to the front. Make your way to the front of the mat. <sighs> Feet hip distance. Inhale halfway. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Come up slowly. And we've got one more floor. Roll your shoulders out on the top. 
palms to the front, shoulders away from the ears, and we're gonna go for it straight away. Inhale, reach up, squeeze the bum if you want that slight back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, and exhale, fingertips on the mat. Right heel up, standing split, bend the left knee if you wanna be on the safe side. Keep lifting, dropping head and shoulders. Hold it for one more breath. Start bringing the right heel down as you bend the left knee. Step back into runner's lunge. Slowly drop the right knee. Lift the arms up, crescent moon, ease out of that left knee. Slide back bend if you want. Make sure you're not collapsing in the lumbar spine. Come up straight, hands flat. Lift the back knee. Shoot the left heel up, three-legged dog. Big inhale. Exhale, left knee to the right elbow. Give it a tap and extend out into fallen triangle. Lift the right arm. Find the high hips. Drop the left hip just the once. Inhale, drop. Exhale, lift back up. Right hand flat. Left heel up, three-legged dog. Big inhale. Exhale, left knee to the nose. Give it a tap. Step through runner's lunge. Inhale, both arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale, cactus arm position. Inhale, prepare for a twist. Exhale, twist to your left. Come back to center, reach the arms up. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, right heel flat. Looking over left fingertips, find your warrior two. Sit onto the right heel, sitting all the way over. Hands to heart center for me. Find the power, find your strength if you really want to take it further. Open the arms. That's how high you're trying to be, how upright you're trying to be. But you can sit lower, tug the pelvis. Hands back to heart center, power up. Warrior two onto the left heel. Sink low. Balance, half moon, left fingertips to the mat. Lift that right heel up high. Open up your whole body. See if you want that extra stretch. I want to grab the right ankle. Gentle push into it. You can leave that bit out. Release back into your half moon. Straight into your reverse warrior. Bend the left knee. Step back slowly. Make sure it's a long step. Left heel to the sky. You can start a little bind if you want. Put the right hand behind you. And on top of the left thigh, keep bending into the left knee. And then cartwheel around into high, high plank. Left knee back. Sorry, left foot back and hover. Take a big inhale. Push your weight forward. Exhale, sink onto your front. Locust, back extension. Quad stretch. Activate the in, um, shoulder blades, the glutes. Make sure you've got that lift first and then flex the feet, bend the knees, quad stretch. We'll press the ankles into the hands, lift up, lift, 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 press, press into the hands. Three, two, one, and release, release the legs, hands under your shoulders. Tuck your pelvis, tuck the toes, push up, inhale, exhale, downward dog. Mm, just for fun, drop the elbows for dolphin because we like that. For three, drop the chest through, push back into downward dog, drop the elbows for two more, drop the chest through, lift back up into downward dog, drop the elbows for the last time. Dolphin, hold, push your tailbone high and push back into downward dog, hold it for one more breath. Bend both knees, look to the front, inhale. Exhale, make your way to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, and we are doing the other side, straight away, fingertips on the mat. Left heel lifts, standing split. Keep lifting, keep lifting. Keep stretching the right hamstrings, drop the head, shoulders. Hold it for one more breath. Start lowering the left heel, bend the right knee, step into runner's lunge as slow as you can. Drop the left knee onto the mat, arms up, crescent moon, ease out of the right knee. Long line, slightly lean back if you want, no collapsing in the lumbar spine. Straighten up, frame the front foot, lift the back knee, right heel goes up, three-legged dog, big inhale. Exhale, right knee to the left elbow, tap it, straighten out into fallen triangle. Left heel flat, left arm up. 
one hip drop if you want. Right hip drops in here. Exhale, lift back up. Left hand down. Right heel goes up. Three legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, right knee to the nose. Give it a tap. Step through. Runner's lunge. Arms up. Crescent lunge. Sink into it. Cactus position with the arms. Make sure you're tucking the tailbone. Twist to your right. Back to center. Inhale, arms up. Crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Left heel on the mat. Arms in a T. Looking over your right fingertips. Leaving out those steps. Hands to heart center. Sitting down onto the left heel into side lunge. Tug the tailbone already. Feel the strength in the inner thighs. Quads, glutes. So tracking the left toes and knees. See if you want to open the arms and squeeze the shoulder blades together like hugging something. Hands back to heart center, power up, inhale. Exhale, right heel, warrior two. And your balance is coming. Look down, right fingertips to the mat and lift that left foot up into half moon. Stacking shoulders and hips. See if you want to reach back with the left hand as you're bending the left knee. Gentle press into the left hand if you want to leave it out. Release back into half moon and slowly stepping into reverse warrior, slowly bend the right knee. Land that left foot, right fingertips to the sky. You can do the bind left hand behind you or on top of the right thigh. Hold and then cartwheel down. Shoot the right leg back, hold and then sink through it. Inhale, push forward, exhale, sink through onto your front. We've got one more back extension here. Activate the shoulder blades. Activate the glute muscles. Lengthen the lower back. Lift into locust. Then flex the feet. Bend the knees if you want. Quad stretch or push into the hands with the ankles. And hold for three, for two, for one. Bring them down. Release them off. Feet, hip distance, hands under your shoulders. Roll the shoulder blades back. Suck your belly button in. Push up. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Hold. Drop the elbows onto the mat for three. Dolphin, bum up high, chest through. Straighten up, downward dog. Two more. I'm feeling the strength in the triceps. Push back up. One more time, drop, hold your dolphin, hold. You can stay here if you want, you can relax anytime you want. Make sure the elbows are not wider than your shoulders. Now ripple forward into a plank position. I know it's shorter and try and push your face towards your fingertips as you're tucking the pelvis. I know my bum is still high. Inhale, push up into dolphin, exhale plank-ish. Let's do that twice more. Push up dolphin, really push your chest through. Exhale forward into this plank-ish thing. One more time, one more pie, inhale. Exhale, plank. Push back into dolphin one last time, hold. Push into downward dog, hold your stretch. And then drop your knees onto the mat. Come forward and lie down on your front. Let's do a shoulder stretch, left arm out in line with the left shoulder. The right hand is still underneath my right shoulder. Bend the right knee, roll onto your left side. Try and land the right toes behind you and feel the stretch in the front of your left shoulder. Try and relax your left ear on the mat. See if you want to reach the right fingertips to the sky, but the thumb is still pointing to the front of the mat. Keep pointing the thumb to the front of the mat. So your palm is pointing out to the right side of the, the uh, mat. Think about pressing the back of your hands together. So the thumb position is important. I know I'm obsessed with the external rotation in the shoulders, but we spend so much time in internal rotation that I need that thumb to point to the front of the mat and you should feel the stretch in both shoulders. Bring the right hand onto the mat and slowly roll onto your front. Leave the left hand as it is. 
Just leave the left arm, just give it some time. It's quite an intense stretch. Let's do the other side. First, bring that left hand slowly by your side. Give it a little shake. And then bring the left hand under your left shoulder. Reach the right arm out in line with your shoulder. Bend the left knee. And then roll into your right side, feeling the stretch in the front of your right shoulder. Try and put that left foot behind you, right ear on the mat. If you're ready, you can reach the left fingertips to the sky, left thumb pointing to the front. So you've got that external rotation. The left palm is pointing to the left side of the mat. Think about pressing the back of your hands together. You're not trying to interlace because as soon as you try and interlace, you're turning your shoulder joint into an internal rotation. There's nothing wrong with it. But I'm trying to open up the shoulder joint, stretch your shoulder your packs, your chest. Put the left hand, sorry, right hand. <laughs> sorry, that's your left hand under your left shoulder. Roll into your front and leave the right arm as it is. Take a couple of breaths. You don't want to move it just yet. Bring the right arm by your side. Give it a little shake. And then very, very slowly, bring the, both hands under your shoulders. Just sit back into child's pose. Make it slow. Around your back, hug your knees, hug your legs. Don't drop the back of your um, top of your head onto the mat. Rock side to side. Mm. Go onto your back, push your feet one way, bum the other way. Or find another way to go onto your back. I'm taking it easy. I'm done. Once you're in your bum, just lie down. You can slow it down if you want. Let's do a hamstring stretch. Left leg long, right leg up. Use your strap if you've got one. Wrap it around the foot. Or grab the back of your right thigh, maybe the right shin. It helps to point and flex your ankle, your foot a few times. It loosens your calf. And then find a stretch. Make sure your head and shoulders are on the mat. You can always go for the big toe, joint, big toe pose. The peace fingers on the right hand are wrapping around the right big toe. But you have to make sure you can relax your head and shoulders onto the mat if you choose to do that. Just find a hamstring stretch. Bend your left knee, put your left foot flat and just cross your right thigh on top of the left knee. Arms in a T, drop both knees over to your right. So you might feel a bit of stretch in your left glute and if you keep your shoulder blades flat, you will feel it in your lower back as well. In through the nose, out through the nose. Feel the lengthening in the muscles. Come back to center slowly. Untangling the legs, I'm sending the right heel long, the left knee in for a sec to give it a hug, and then hamstring stretch, reaching the back of my left thigh somewhere, extending the left knee a few times, point and flex in the ankle to loosen the calf. And then find your hamstring stretch, grabbing the back of your leg, wherever that is, or big toe pose with the peace fingers on the left side <clears throat> to the big toe if you want. Make sure you can send head and shoulders flat on the mat.
stretching your glutes and lower back at the same time. Bend your right knee, right foot flat, and just put that left thigh across the right leg, arms in a T, sending both knees across to your left. So the left shin is pulling the right knee across. Keep the right shoulder blade flat. Feel the gentle pull in the lower back. You might feel it in your right glute as well. Back to center. Untangle the legs. And then roll onto your side again. Find yourself in a seated position. Don't rush. Make sure you don't get dizzy. Find that long spine, comfy legs. Just sit up tall. Release the shoulders away from the ears. Drop the chin to the chest. Feel the back of your neck stretching. You can close your eyes. Roll the head one way. Keep taking those long breaths in and out through the nose. Change. Lift your gaze. Reach up to finish it off. Inhale. Exhale and the heart center. Thank you very much, everyone. Namaste. Well done, us. I'm going to sec. Let me stop it.